I'm going to do a test just to show you why it's so important to use soda ash. I'm going to tie up two shirts exactly the same. One is without soda ash and the other one has been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes. Wrung out by hand and then put into the wash machine with no water and put it on spin cycle. And so it's still damp. This one right here happens to be the one without soda ash. We're going to tie them up exactly the same because we'll be able to tell the difference. So this is just going to be a standard spiral tie. I'm going to twist this up, nothing major fancy. Try to keep my hands out of the way of the camera. Tell you right now, I got this shirt upside down. The shirt is turned inside out, but you always want to do your spiral with the front of the shirt facing down. And I'll show you why in just a minute when we're all done here. Spinning this up. Go ahead and lose these forceps here. Got a nice little spiral there. I'm just going to throw some rubber bands on it. I usually don't use rubber bands. Um, actually, I shouldn't say this. I use rubber bands when I'm doing this kind of work, uh, which isn't all that often anymore. Okay, so this is the one with no soda ash. This is the this is actually the front, but see how uneven everything is here. You can tell all these bumps, everything compared this side is nice and flat. So when you're doing this, you want to tie your front down on your surface. All right, so there's one. And here's the second shirt. I'm going to turn it inside out. The reason, again, why we turn it inside out is sometimes when you're dyeing, your, your color will have pigment in it that isn't always dissolved all the way. And that'll leave a dark spot or freckles on your work. But sometimes if you turn it inside out, then that stuff will be on the inside of the shirt and you'll never see it on the outside. Okay, so now I have the face, the front of the shirt facing down. Once again, we're just going to do this in a simple spiral. Start twisting this up. Hey, there you have it. One with soda ash. See how nice and smooth the front is? And this is the back. One without soda ash. It's bigger, but we'll be able to tell in the washout. Smooth on the front. 
bumpy on the back but this one's backwards but i'll fix that anyway there you go let's zoom in close see how the test goes okay here we are again and this is the soda ash challenge whatever this is why you need to use soda ash so earlier in the video this larger one has no soda ash the smaller one here is soda ash so we're just gonna dye both of those exactly the same and we'll show you the difference so I'm gonna use red and blue so I'm gonna go half red over here and on this one half red over here Then we're going to go blue. This would be red, white, and blue. We're going to go blue over here. And blue over here. And I'm going to leave the back white to get our white. Obviously, I'm not going to use a white dye. So I'm not going to do the back in any other color. So we're not getting any down here in the center on this one to get that bit of a spiral. Just a little bit more red. And just a little bit more red. Okay, there we have it. Um, soda ash challenge. With soda ash, without soda ash.